Hi, I'm Lynn Bridgeford and in this video today on kinesiology we're going to look at how we look at chemicals, what's going on in the body, so functional biochemistry, what happens inside the body. There's far too many things to show all at once many many years of research and study so I'm just going to give some ideas of what we might look at with perhaps toxicity in the body linking through the meridians the muscles related to the meridians and it could be toxicity we could be looking at hormones and we will at the end we'll look at a few bits of food testing so what what do you need and not need in your diet what can you have that you like and what do you love that you really shouldn't have too much of? We're going to just check through a couple of muscles using the alarm points that we talked about before and some of the meridian points beginning end to see which meridians we might be looking at. we we'll check the muscles. We've got a good indicator muscle. Push into my hand. Keep breathing. And again push. Good. We're going to go straight to the liver. Okay. The liver's showing up and the liver could be to do with chemicals from the outside. It also could be to do with what's going on in the inside of the body. So sometimes the way the liver processes toxins, we can take a toxin, we turn it with phase one of the detoxification into something worse, that mops up with phase two and then we spit it out the body. So if any of those processes aren't working properly, we can get, get a problem. So let's have a look and see a few common things that we have to deal with in today's world. So we're going to have a look. We're going to use these vials. This has, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. <laughs> it. Your body knows. It needs to touch your skin with a light going through it. So it's a homeopathic frequency of that's made of a remedy. So that means your body can read it. It's like when you go in a room and there's been an argument, you feel it with your nervous system. So it's also like a CD. If you have a CD, it doesn't make a noise, but you put it in the player and you can play the music on it. This is like playing the music. Your system goes, oh, I know what that is. Okay. So you've shown up with the three main things of toxicity that we all have to deal with. Push here. Now that's the muscle related to the liver. Let's see if any of these relate to the liver. So it's a cross check. It's like an on off switch. And push. So this muscle was testing weak, so not switching on. And a strong indicator muscle, the one we started with, that was okay, that we're using to see what happens when we introduce this into your system, that was switching it off. So if we put the two together, it's like two wrongs make a right type of thing. So it's, it's a switch. So we're testing what happens, and these things are all affecting your liver. So what are in those vials? There's toxic metals, chemicals, radiation. Now I can't test every chemical because we have hundreds of thousands of chemicals and we have lots in the environment that we're dealing with, in our air, in our food, in our water. We don't know all the things we're dealing with. Our body, is the liver, loves to deal with these things, but somehow we've got a bit of overload in the world at the moment. The other thing that's showing is radiation. So that can be radiation from Wi-Fi, from our phones. Never put the phone on the head. There are things we can use to antidote this and there's some new things I'm working with that help with antidoting the effects of 5G. So hopefully that's going to be enough to keep me healthy and my <laughs> patients healthy. And also um, the Wi-Fi. If you go in an aeroplane, if you go through an airport, I've had people who've done nothing but go through an airport and they show radiation, obviously x-rays, that can all affect the body, which is why when you go to the dentist, he steps, he or she steps out of the room while you get x-rayed. So we can do things to help counteract this. And toxic metals, we can have toxic metals in our mouth because of mercury. The other place we have toxic metals is the water. So one of my patients had a water report done and it showed lead to acceptable levels and mercury to acceptable levels. There is no acceptable level. So I have a kit that I could test which specific uh, metals because sometimes I've had somebody come up with a, a metal and you find out that that's in the tiles that they've been cutting in their job and that particular metal is affecting them so we can antidote it specifically or we can give something that generally helps to take the metals on a day-to-day -day basis out of the body. So I'm going to put this on your skin and just see generally with an indicator muscle 
you're fine with that. So let's test it against these remedies, that these indicators that you didn't like. Push here. Okay. And again push. And again push. push. Okay. And we're going to put that in there. And relax. <laughs> and push. Push, 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 push. Okay. So this is yarrow. Now some people take the tincture, some people take capsules, some people drink the tea. I find it absolutely revolting so I don't drink it, but some people don't mind that. But it's very good on a sometimes three times, four times a week just to get the toxins out. It tests well for chemicals, metals, radiation. It's not going to do a big detox, but it just helps with that layer of stuff that comes at us. And it's not changing the indicator for the indicator muscle for the liver, so we'd have to look at something with your liver pathways see what's going on there. So I'm going to do a little cross check and push here, push here and push here. Meridians related to the hormones tested fine. We have an inner sense, an intuition that tells us what we need to look at. So I was getting that I needed to look at hormones even though the meridians related to hormones were okay. So I've chosen a remedy that helps to mop up the excess estrogens in the liver and because I cross-checked the meridians for the hormones to the liver, and then when I gave you this remedy, the liver tested okay. So I don't know if that's sounding a bit complicated, but we have to think in all different directions when we're doing this work. It's not just about the liver. Why did I choose to look at the hormones? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes things just, we listen to the body, the body's talking. There's many ways of listening. We're listening with muscle testing. When you've done this a long time and when you're intuitive, you will hear things from the body. It saves a lot of time than going testing everything, but sometimes it's quite good to be able to tune in and find what do we need. And it wasn't obvious because the meridians related to the hormones were testing fine. But on some level, there's too many estrogens. Now when we come to estrogens, we have too many estrogens in the environment. We drink water from plastic bottles. They get in estrogen mimickers into the water from being in the plastic bottle. The other thing is that water in the out the tap can have hormones in it as well. So I'm just going to ask you to sit up for a moment and if you could take a little sip of that water, keep it in your mouth, don't swallow. Can you keep that in your mouth and still breathe? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you lay down and let's have a look and a push. Okay, so something you don't like about that, let's keep breathing and let's have a look. Okay, and again, again, and keep your arms straight, and again, okay, so you can swallow that. <laughs> <laughs> so once it's gone out of the mouth, the mouth is an assessment area, we've lost our indicator for it. So you didn't like that water, and what it showed, what it cross-checked to was chemicals and heavy metals. There's no radiation in the water because it didn't cross-check to that, but there is heavy metals and chemicals. So let's repeat that with something else. Take a little sip, hold it in your mouth, and lay down, keep breathing, and push. Again, push. So that one's fine, so you can swallow that. So that's filtered water. I have a filter that takes out heavy metals, phytates, nitrates and oestrogens. If you just like to take a little sip of that, and it is cold and it is coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't swallow. Okay? <laughs> so let's have a look and see what your body thinks of that. And push here. Push, push, push. Okay. And let's see here. And push. Okay. So generally, you don't mind it, but it's ch you can swallow it and take some water. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so on a general test, you don't mind it. When I test related to the liver, it um, changes because the muscle... Fit. Now you've swallowed it, it will go on. Push here. See, that was weak. We can put this on your belly, our first mouth. <laughs> so we can read through here. It's just more specific to do it in the mouth. Push here. So that changes. Now caffeine, this has caffeine in it, is one of the biomarkers for the liver. So it could be, rather than just the coffee, the caffeine, your yeah. liver doesn't like it. 
so on a general test you don't like it and that's where we have to be careful what we're looking at because you could say you don't mind that unless we test the organ it's related to and we find well actually that's changing things so you don't want it. So if we do a standard test here that's fine and that's caffeine. So you're not a girl who should have caffeine. Take <laughs> <laughs> a sip of this you should be able to smell what it is. Quite fine. <laughs> Keep that in your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Lay down. Let's have a look and push. So on a general test, that's fine. And push here. Your liver doesn't mind it. What else might we look at? Let's look at the muscle related to the blood sugar. Push in. Okay, just double check it's not too sugary for you. That's fine. So we've looked at the muscle related to the sugar. We've looked at the muscle related to the liver. That doesn't change anything. Doesn't make it it would change if there was a difference and your stomach doesn't mind it. Could you take this, you need to so keep you getting all your sit-ups, a little chew of that. Like it. And take some and chew it without swallowing. And then when you've chewed it well, we need to have some time for the brain to get it. Then we're going to get you to lay down. And stop chewing, otherwise we're testing your jaw. And push here. And push here, and again push, and that one was off anyway, and push here, that doesn't change anything. You can swallow that or spit it out, whichever you like. That's rye bread, you may be fine, if you can cope with rye bread you can cope with gluten, but there may be other things that you can't cope with like mm. wheat. But have you swallowed that? Yep. Do you need some water? <laughs> um, okay. There's another little treat for you to eat. Piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> See what's happening. And push here. Push here. Push in here. And push here. Well, your liver doesn't mind, but the muscle related to the sugar and the muscle related to the stomach doesn't like that. We're not testing allergies. We're testing what you like, what you don't. It might be an intolerance. It's a whole different thing to look at allergies. But that's something that could cause you a problem, and you know that. Mm -hmm. But if we give you the remedy for your digestion, that may well help. <laughs> I have one thing left, and I'm going to put this on your tummy because I don't okay. think, <laughs> think it would be too much to put it in your mouth. So let's have a look and see what you think of that. And again. And again. Straighten your leg, push up. So just on those few tests we've done, the muscle related to the stomach goes hyper, the sugar is not happy, the muscle related to the liver is not happy, this is sugar, go easy on the sugar. Okay. <laughs> so that's just a little introduction to the biochemistry, looking at the hormones, the toxicity and some food testing. Thank you so much for watching, I'm really enjoying sharing my journey and my knowledge with you and I hope it's a help to you with your learning and your understanding. Please subscribe, like, write in the comments below and go across to my other channels. I have Instagram, Lynn Bridgeford, I have Facebook channels for the clinic, for the yoga and interact with me on all the channels and I would be happy to connect with you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much.